Hello, welcome to Dark Dragon Does Math. Um, I am recording this at school during school because the first time I recorded this, apparently the sound wasn't on. So let's hope uh, you can hear me right now, right? Okay. All right. So I'm actually having to do this pretty quickly. So I'm going to hit the uh, the most important stuff. Basically, uh, terminating. So right now we're learning how to write rational numbers, the fractions that we did the other day, as decimals. So there's two types of decimals, decimals that terminate, um, and this is just a decimal with a finite number of decimal places. Um, for example, 0 0.8 stops, uh, 2.342 stops, um, or uh, 0 0.07, but as long as it doesn't keep going on forever. Um, and repeating decimal is a decimal that has one or more repeating digits. Uh, so an example of this was something like 0 0.777. Um, repeating. The way we say that is it goes on forever and we'll put a bar on top of it. Uh, we could say 0 0.07373 and it's just going to repeat that uh, whatever it's repeating on and on and on again for forever. So, uh, so if we're going to write the following rational numbers as decimals. So all of these are going to terminate so if it ends in a zero it's actually really nice for us like the, if it's a ten if it's a multiple of ten basically um, we learned this is the opposite of what we did yesterday three over ten is just three tenths and we can write it like that twenty one over one hundred is just twenty one hundredths um, this right here five and three twenty three remember that's something like that's like five thousand three hundred and twenty three over one thousand and um, we can just write that as five and three hundred and twenty three thousandths and so those ones are pretty simple uh, we probably have this memorized but the way you find them that do not uh, that are not over a multiple of ten is you have to use long division so we'll do four and to I'm, I think of it as 100 but I have to add these zeros in to make it work so 4 goes into 1 no times 4 goes into 10 twice and that's 8 subtract we have a 2 bring down a 0 4 goes into 20 5 times this one right here 3 eighths eight goes into three zero times eight goes into thirty three times it's twenty four thirty minus twenty four is six bring down the zero eight goes into sixty seven times eight goes into forty five times notice all of these stop so every single one of these is a terminating decimal Go ahead and pause the video. Work through these on your own. On the back, um, and also, yeah, just work through those on your own. On the back, these are all repeating decimals. Okay, so every single one of these is a repeating decimal. So we still have to use long division to solve it. So 3 goes into basically 100. So 3 goes into 0, 0 times. 3 goes into 10, 9 times. And that's 9, subtract 1, bring down 10. And then we can, RC goes into that 9. But what's going to happen is it's just going to be a bunch of 9s. Notice that those are the exact same number. Anytime I'm dividing the same number by the same number, it's going to start repeating itself. So we could write this answer as 0 0.9 repeating. If you don't write it like that, 
0 0.999. Either one of those is fine. Uh, the book will actually specify which one it wants to see. For this one, Eleven goes into ten no times. Eleven goes into one hundred nine times, so that's ninety-nine. Subtract one. So I can keep going, I can do these other things, but notice we've repeated ourselves. So anytime you repeat yourselves, what happens behind the repeat to that Is point? Like I said, I'm at work. <laughs> so if you if you haven't had your picture taken, you're a sixth grader. I just I just suggest you go now. Um, so zero nine zero nine zero nine. Um, it's going to be just another zero nine. It's going to keep happening over and over again. So we can write this as zero point zero nine, and put the bar over both the zero and the nine, or we could write this as point zero nine zero nine. Either way, we get the idea of what's going on. Um, this one, same thing um, for brevity. Well, I think this one's easy. We'll see. So, I had 12 goes into 13 one time. Subtract 1, bring down the 0. Does not go into that. Um, 12 goes into. 100 um, eight times, I believe. Now I'm questioning myself. Um, so that's 96. Four, bring down the zero. 12 goes into 43 times. That's 36. And here we have the repeat. So from here to here. So what repeated was actually only the three. It's just going to be a bunch of threes back here. So 1.083 repeating. And you can check yourself with the calculator. Um, we could say uh, this was 13 divided by 12. Notice 1.08 and then a bunch of three. So you just have to write three once, but make sure you have a bar on top of it. Um, and the other reason I got the calculator out was because in our, I'm a, you're going to get calculators now because um, the book it actually has problems specifically that say use a calculator. So I want to show you those um, 82 over 333. Okay. So if we do that, that's all you have to write, 82 divided by 333, you've got this number right here. So notice, the repeat is the whole 246, 246, so that's what's repeating. So this is equal to 0 0.246, and you put it over that whole thing. Um, on the back, something simple, sorry about those, 2 sevenths seems really simple. But two, 2 divided by 7 actually looks like this. That's a lot harder to figure out what's repeating, so you have, we have to look very closely. 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, oh, 6. That 6 is actually a 5, 7 rounded up. This entire repeating decimal is 0 0.2857144. Whole thing, which is pretty crazy. Um, okay. Anyways, do the guided practice. Uh, I think this was pretty brief. Uh, brief video. I just I needed to get it out. Um, time is of the essence. So, thank you.